I'm Richard Clark. I record these talks every day as a way to deepen my inquiry. Listen each day and deepen your own practice. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from talk 345. Sri Bhagavan continued after interval. Destroy the power of mind by seeking it. When the mind is examined, its activities cease automatically. Looking for the source of the mind is another method. The source may be said to be God or self or consciousness. Concentrating on one thought, all other thoughts disappear. Finally, that thought also disappears. It is necessary to be aware of controlling thoughts, otherwise it will lead to sleep. Questioner, how to seek the mind? Maharshi, breath control may do as an aid, but can never lead to the goal itself. While doing it mechanically, take care to be alert in mind and remember the I thought and seek its source. Then you'll find that where breath sinks, there the I thought arises. They sink and rise together. The I thought will also sink along with breath. Simultaneously, another luminous and infinite I, I will manifest and it will be continuous and unbroken. That is the goal. It goes by different names, God, Self, Kundalini Shakti, Consciousness, etc. When the attempt is made, it will of itself take you to the goal. In this dialogue, Ramana Maharshi provides insights into the nature of the mind and the path to self-realization through self-inquiry. The mind and its power to create the ego's view of the world is about the first thing that spiritual seekers encounter. When you try to sit in meditation, you sit there, say you are watching your breath and a thought comes up. Maybe it distracts you, thinking that this is something I have to act upon. It pulls you away from the quiet meditation. So the question is basically, what can I do to stop these thoughts? It's a common one. Ramana responds to this common question. The earliest recorded Zen dialogue is about this. Wiki said to Bodhidharma, my mind is anxious, please pacify it. To which Bodhidharma replied, bring me your mind and I will pacify it. Wiki said, although I've sought it, I cannot find it. Bodhidharma then said, there, I have pacified your mind. Ramana advises you to destroy the power of the mind by seeking it, like Bodhidharma told Twiki. This seeking involves a process of examination and investigation. Watch the mind and notice what it does. Reflect on it and come to see its power over the view of the world that you hold to be real. 
when you turn your attention inward and examine the mind, its activities naturally start to cease. By looking for the source of the mind, which you discover is your conscious essence, whether it's called God or self, you can begin to see the mind's true nature and ultimately transcend it. One method Ramana mentions is concentrating on one thought to the exclusion of others. As you focus intensely on a single thought, all other thoughts begin to fade away until even that single thought dissolves. This practice leads towards the cessation of mental activities. This is like what happens in one-pointed meditation. The questioner then asks how to seek the mind. Ramana responds that breath control, pranayama, can be used as an aid, but it alone cannot lead to the ultimate goal of self-realization. To foster self-realization, Ramana instructs that while practicing breath control, it's essential to remain mentally alert and to focus on the I thought, the core sense of I or ego. By tracing this I thought back to its source, you will realize that it rises from the same place as the breath. Ramana explains that the I thought and the breath are intricately connected. They rise and fall together. When you observe this process and focus on the source of the I thought, the sense of individual I gradually dissolves. What emerges in its place is a luminous and infinite awareness represented by I, I, or I am I, signifying the true self. This continuous and unbroken awareness is the ultimate goal of spiritual practice. This goal, Ramana says, is known by various names like God, Self, Atman, Brahman, Kundalini Shakti, or Consciousness. The sincere seeker's effort in self-inquiry will naturally guide them towards this goal. The key lies not merely in mechanical practices like breath control, but in the alert and conscious investigation of the I thought to its source. The key to successful practice is the knowledge essence, the self-knowledge that comes from the practice. Ramana's teachings underscore the transformative power of self-inquiry where you can dissolve the mind's illusions and realize the eternal self through focused awareness and internal investigation. This dialogue encapsulates the essence of Ramana's teachings on the path of Veda Vedanta and the practice of self-realization. So, inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. The book, Who Am I with Comments, is my take on these early teachings of Ramana Maharshi. It's available on Amazon, free to Kindle subscribers. A link is in the video notes.
These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with the comments.